Hi everyone, in this video we're going to start building our house. Now I want to make sure to remind you not to delete the person that is in your project by default. We need them to give us a sense of scale as we build our house so we know if we're making it large enough. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to lay out the length and width of our house. To do that we're going to go over to our tools, go to your shapes and click the rectangle. When the menu pops out we're going to click the rectangle. And a nice easy place to always start a house is right at the origin because the mouse will snap into place. We're going to click and let go. And then we can move our mouse out and drag out the size of the house. For this house, we want to make sure that we were, we were making it wider or longer farther in this direction than we do going back. Now if you start dragging and you don't see a blue line, if it tries to catch it up and it makes it green like on my screen or starts sending it in a different direction, you can press the up arrow on the keyboard and it will lock it onto this flat plane. Now the ni another nice thing about not having to hold down the mouse button is I can click the middle scroll wheel and use it to control my camera without having to let go of my rectangle. So I'm going to give me kind of an up view, zoom out a little bit. Let's go ahead and stretch her house out to about here and click. So now we have the base of the house. And let's say we decided it's a little too small and we want to make a larger house or we made it too large. We can change the size of this rectangle. To do that, go over and click the four directional move button and then select move. And then when you place your mouse on one of the lines, it should turn blue. And you can click and let go and slide that side in and out. So I'm going to make her house a little bit wider. Click and make it just a little bit deeper. And maybe a little bit wider. We're going to make a pretty big house for this person. So see if you can make your box, your rectangle close to mine. I might have made it a little too deep here. I might bring that in a little. It really is a matter of, of taste for you at this point for what size you think you want to make this house. Okay, now the next step is we are going to drag up the house to give it its height. To do that, we're going to go to the push pull tool and select push pull out of our three options. And we're going to start dragging this up. Now, before we do, I want you to pay attention to a number that's at the very bottom of the screen over here that shows you the distance. We want to make this house a height of 18 feet. So this number that says zero right now, you're going to see that number changing as we increase the height of this house. We want to keep going until we get to approximately 18. So we're going to click on the surface and let go. Now you notice as I move up and down, that distance down at the bottom is changing. Right now we're about 5 feet, 6 feet, 7 feet. We're going to keep going up till we get to 18 feet. And you may need to zoom out your camera. I'm going to hold down shift and click the middle scroll wheel to slide my camera a little bit. We're going to keep going until that distance says about 18. So right about there, if you're a hair under, if you're a hair over, it'll be okay. Go ahead and click when you're right at about 18 feet and let go. And now we've made um, a three-dimensional box that's going to serve as the foundation for our house.